We would like to welcome everyone here. We're going to go ahead and get started. We appreciate you taking this time this morning to celebrate this opportunity with these uh, young men that will be committing to go to the next level and continuing on their careers, uh, football and baseball. And so we're going to get this thing started with uh, Coach Fimple talking about two of our secondary kids. I usually just yell, but okay. Uh, <clears throat> my son's birthday was uh, yesterday. He turned eight years old. He traveled with us to Hoover and uh, hung around with these guys. They pretty much took care of him as I was uh, running around. And he asked about them all the time. And, and uh, so yesterday we were doing the celebration, which most of you parents know at eight, that cost me a fortune at Legos. But then, uh, we had a cake ceremony where we put the cake and we blew out the candles and all I could think about the whole time was this day here and these guys signing right behind me uh, that I've had the privilege to coach. Um, and what I was thinking in a day and age, you know, where awards, and those things are great. Uh, the coaches don't get to hand out a whole bunch of those. You know, so, you know, we, we say, hey, good job. We do things like that. But I wanted these guys to know in front of everybody that the greatest honor that I can give them is this. <clears throat> when my son grows up, I want him to be just like these two guys right here. They work extremely hard. They deserve everything they get. And that is the greatest thing that I can give to both of them because I love them to death. And I love a lot of these guys up here that I mean that the same thing goes for them. If I can get my son to grow up like them, he will be awesome. And that's what they have done for me is change that around where now I'm raising my son and I'm doing things with him to be just like these guys right here. All right, congratulations, Blaze Brothers and Matt Skirtle. Thank my parents and uh, just all my family and all the coaches and the Pitt State for getting me to the next level. Alright, uh, I'm going to first uh, want to thank my coaches. Um, thank you guys for everything that you've uh, helped me develop to be a player and um, play at the next level. Um, I just want to thank my trainer, Jermaine, for always pushing me and developing me into the player that I am today. Um, I want to give a huge thank to all my friends. Y'all are amazing. Y'all cheered me on during games and are just always there for me. Um, and lastly, I just want to thank my family there. <laughs> Thank you. 
they've been through it all, spending tons of money for me. <laughs> just blessed to have them as a family, and just thank you so much. God has blessed me so much with them, and I just thank you all so Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce you signing today uh, the biggest guy up here, I think, uh, of the signees. Uh, I think it's uh, obvious to all of us here that this guy has kind of stood out in the crowd by his size uh, to start with, and then that, that hair's kind of gotten away from him too, but that's okay. But he is, uh, he's been an outstanding uh, player for us, but also a member of this squad. And for three years, he's done some things that a lot of folks haven't been able to. Uh, Alejandro Ramirez has been selected three-time All-State football player in the 7A. That has only, he is the third player ever to receive that award for three straight years in the history of the 7A. Uh, that stands out. Uh, he's also the first player from the 7A West to do so, and uh, we have a lot of good competition in this conference. It was a 2016 Defensive Lineman of the Year in the 7A West, a member of the 2017 Kerm Dream Team, and then to top it all off, uh, even in his, uh, with his wrestling, that he's taken on. Uh, he's excelled in that category as well, uh, making All-State uh, last year in 2017, and I believe is well on his way to uh, receiving that award again uh, this coming in the next few weeks. Uh, Alejandro has, is signed with mine and Coach Ware's alma mater at University of Central Arkansas, and he's gonna be a bear. And if you get a chance to, you can come down at his table over there and see some of the picks they took of him. He already kind of looks like he's fitting right into that role uh, that they have planned for him there. Alejandro Ramirez. for supporting me throughout this whole journey, uh, being along my side, always being in the stands, uh, yelling at rest and doing what they do. Um, I'd like to thank the whole uh, Harper coaching staff um, and uh, the wrestling staff as well, because um, they've all impacted me in, in a lot of ways to, and helped me get to this point. Uh, I'd like to thank all my teammates, uh, the guys up here, the guys sitting in the stands, um, and anyone else who's supported me along the way. Uh, thank you guys. Go Cats, go Bears. This morning is my privilege to uh, introduce a couple of players. Uh, first will be Tevin Eggwood. Come on up here. Uh, Tevin's going to go to uh, Northwest Missouri State, and uh, before I turn the mic over to Tevin, there's, there's two things that I really remember, and I'll miss about you, like, because I'm the one that's dancing during the music, you know, and you play and dancing, but in all seriousness, I have a 10-year-old daughter uh, who loved to share uh, chicken wings and hamburgers and ribs with Tevin on Thursdays as we go for pregame stuff. And this is a guy, you would never think that because he acts all bad at school. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But when that, my daughter's around him, he'll get down on his knee and talk to her. And that's a real special thing. And I really appreciate that. Uh, first off, I want to thank God for giving me a chance to play at the next level. I want to thank my family for all the support and uh, being there for me through everything. Thanks to my coaches for pushing me and mentoring me for the past three years. You guys have not only built me as a great player, but have taught me to have great, good character on and off the field as well. I would like, I would like to thank everyone. 
Second player, I'd like to introduce Jesus Zimbabwe, make his way up here. Uh, one real quick story about Jesus. Uh, we started our journey together about three years ago, and he was coming out of ninth grade, and we spent Saturday afternoons and some Sunday afternoons kicking the football. And in that time, he ended up being all state for uh, a couple of years out of that, and uh, he's just done a really good job of staying focused. So, Jesus Zimbabwe. Um, um, thanks for coming, guys. And, um, and in, in any person's life, there comes a time when you are given a chance. And first of all, I'd like to thank Arkansas Tech for giving me that chance and furthering my education and my football career. But, I mean, I look forward to being part of the Arkansas Tech family, but without my coaches, Coach Simpson, man, thank you for yelling in my ear every time, every morning. And uh, I'd like to thank my friends, especially uh, Juan Mejia and Gabriel Ramirez. They just kept me going. And above all, and my parents, I mean, I love you guys. You guys took me everywhere and supported me. I can't ask for any more. And uh, above all, God forgive me everything I had. I mean, he's blessed me with, with everything. Um, I just like to thank the fans too. You know, go Wildcats, go Wonder Boys. Thank you. Everybody has uh, got their phones. The, the words don't get big enough, so I had to print mine off a little bigger so I could see them. Uh, it's a pleasure to get to talk about Peyton Cofer. Uh, in, in football, uh, he was a three-year letterman, uh, 2016 All-Conference. In track, he uh, uh, state champion in four by one, state champion in 100 meters, state uh, runner-up in the 200 meters, uh, four by 100 meters state champion in 2017. Uh, he, was a 100 meter champion, 200 meter, uh, four by one conference champion. Uh, so Peyton is all around athlete. He uh, he played several different positions in his time here at Harvard. He was wide receiver, quarterback, safety, running back, and excelled at all those. And we're really excited and uh, for him to continue his athletic career at Pitt State University. It's been a long time dream of mine uh, to play college football and run college track also. Um, I've been working on it since I was a little kid, a little fat kid, running around on the Kiwanis football field, just trying to do the best I can, keep up with everybody. Um, uh, there's so many people to thank. There's a, I mean, so many coaches, trainers, um, friends, family, fans, uh, my track coaches, football coaches, uh, pushing me every day. Um, trying to make me the best I can be, and I really appreciate that from you guys. Um, it's been a long and tough journey. My parents uh, spent, a lot, spent a, lot, a lot of money on me, uh, allowing me to you know, chase my dreams and do what I want to do. And, you know, and I, just, I really thank for that, but I want to give a special thanks to my dad. Uh, we didn't always get along. Um, we pushed each other hard. But it has a lot. But um, you always hold me to the highest standard and um, to the highest um, highest accountability. And I thank you for that. You know, you told me when I was a little kid, whatever I can conceive and believe we can achieve, and I didn't understand that when I was little. But I understand it now because I put my mind to it and uh, I gave it everything I got. And now I'm here. So um, I just want to thank that. I thank you all my brothers sitting here. Uh, you know, everything you guys have done. Being a family, all these times I hoover Alabama on the road, um, football games and stuff like that. You know, I'm gonna miss all of you guys because um, you guys, you guys are the best. I mean, I give 110 percent to this Wildcat family. I'm gonna give 110 percent to the Gorilla Nation. God bless and go Cats. Nick's dad really came on strong his senior year, uh, started in 
You know, I never knew how much football would like impact my life. I made some like great friendships and some brothers I love forever. And I'll never forget the hotel rooms with Tevin Chase, Matt, John Ryan. Like, they did some things to me I'll never gonna speak of. But I just want to thank my dad for pushing me. I mean, he told me I'd thank him one day. I didn't think I would, but thanks for everything he done for me. And my mom and sister for being there for every game. And I'm shaking, you know. Uh, Coach Homecamp for always working with me and just let me know he's there for me on the football field and also there if I ever needed anything. And all the coaches for just being there and pushing me and helping me get to where I am right now. And my teammates, I mean, it's been a ride. We've been there, I mean, it's a great day, it just feels good. And then the receivers, I mean, we grinded, it was rough. And I still want that shrimp scampi, so we're gonna get that, so yeah. Um, but all that being said, I'm just excited to start the new chapter of my life, so. God bless you, go cats. I'm Coach Bradley, the baseball coach. It's a privilege to be here today. Uh, it's a special day for all these athletes. Uh, we do this twice a year, and uh, it's a, a great honor for all of our kids. We had six baseball players sign early. The unique thing about it, these guys are signing a scholarship before they ever play a game their senior year. So it's something that coaches, their summer coaches, their summer programs, our program, uh, that they've been able to showcase their talent over the years. And uh, so it's a privilege today. It's Lucas McCain. Uh, He's getting the limelight by himself today, and I'm proud of Lucas. He's someone that has really developed in our program from year to year, and uh, he's slated uh, to be a starter and our outfielder, and uh, we look for a great opportunity. We have a great uh, opportunity ahead of us. Uh, we open up in February, and uh, so days like today, it's pretty tough to play baseball, but uh, we look forward to the spring. We want to invite all of you out. And Lucas, I want to introduce your mom, Eve, and Rick, and all the support that they've given him over the years. And Lucas has developed into a great player, and uh, he's signing with Independence Community College and uh, he'll do them a great job. Lucas McCain. Um, first off, I want to thank God for the opportunity to play college baseball. And I want to thank my parents for all the support and plays and Matthew for always pushing me. Um, I want to thank JT Baker and Brian Walker for everything they've done and all of the Harbor coaches recruiting our student athletes, not only in baseball and football, but in basketball, softball, baseball, track, cross country, soccer, tennis, uh, we have brought wrestling, and just a multitude of things. And so we appreciate that. There's a ton of traffic that comes through here. We want to thank this our parents, and this is just a small section of our parent base that really gets the job done at Harbor High School. We probably got some of the best parents in the state, if not the region and country, that support their children, and they will do anything for them. Recruiting is a marketing business. To be able to be on this stage, they have gone through the grinding. It is not easy as a student athlete today on the recruiting side. 
they have to go to combines and camps and, and keep keep on working and keep on working. It's a hard deal. Just like I see up there, our basketball guys, our baseball guys, our multitude of sport guys. They are so much stress on student athletes to try to achieve this moment. And to be able to arrive at this moment is it, a humbling deal. And so uh, we appreciate your hard work for you guys out there. Um, I mean, the work's ahead of you. Keep grinding and working. I mean, how, how recruiting works, we were getting ready to sign all this, and one of the guys sitting here, as we're getting ready at 925, I get a call from a college wanting to know if he signed yet, because they're ready to sign at 925 today. And so it continues on after today. So as we go through spring, uh, the student athletes and uh, the scholarships and all that, those are not easy to get. We keep working and striving to do that. We'll have a multitude more signed this spring because we have some tremendous student athletes sitting out there right now that continues to get the job done, and you will be recognized for that. But right now, we're going to recognize all of you. Grab your pens. We're going to go ahead and sign our letters of intent. If everyone gives one more round of applause, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you.